Hi there, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters here. I'm a soul sculptor and you know, my foundational program was Love Yourself Fearlessly. I have been focusing on self-love for myself for over 30 years. And how has it changed my life? Well, instead of being anxiety ridden and depressed with fibromyalgia and Epstein-Barr, I have a healthy life and I'm no longer anxious or depressed. So self-love can totally change your life. Hi Angie, how are you? So glad to have you here. So in this short video, what I'm going to do is talk about how do we love ourselves. And, and you know, as a coach, I hear all the time, well, I thought I loved myself. So here's some ways to tell if you love yourself or not. Do you trust other people? Do you get caught up in drama? <laughs> Do you trust yourself? Do people respect you? Do you have healthy boundaries? Do you beat yourself up? Do you view yourself with a magnifying glass telling yourself how fat you are, how old you are, how stupid you are, or anything else that you magnify with this type of thing. Are you perfectionistic? Hi, Lynn, nice to see you. I guess I found the perfect time for people in, in, the, in the UK and overseas. So um, thank you so much for being here. Self-love is the thing that makes our life magical. We'll, with self-love, we find happiness within instead of looking for it outside. So when we love ourselves, we lovingly accept ourselves as we are, the way we are, not when, oh, I'll love myself when I have the perfect job, or I'll love myself when I have the perfect partner, or when I'm married, or when I have children. So it, it is not a, a something outside of us, this self-love peace is the thing, the very thing that, that fills us to overflowing. And so self-acceptance is lovingly accepting all of us. And you know, we are each unique. So part of self-love is, and I'm going to just start naming what it is, not comparing yourself to anyone else. So not looking at someone else and going, wow, I wish I looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> or thinking somebody else is smarter than you or better educated than you. I had a woman today at living in regret that she didn't go to college. And, you know, I didn't go to college either, but doesn't mean that you're not intelligent. You can continue to learn and grow. I'm self-taught. There's so many things that I've learned over the last 45 years. So, um, our education is not an indication of intelligence is what I'm saying. So lovingly accept ourselves and not beat ourselves up for what we didn't do in the past or beat ourselves up for what we did do or who we slept with or who we divorced and wish we hadn't. So it's accepting all of us. All right, so I'm gonna give you a few quick tips. Stay positive, stay loving, use positive affirmations. I love me. I love me. I am perfect as I am. I am safe. I'm lovable. I am enough. I am secure. I am powerful. I am a creative. I am intelligent. I am beautiful. I am radiant. And you just keep on and on. I love me the way I am. So part of loving ourselves is taking care of ourselves getting to bed at a reasonable time, getting up at a reasonable time, focusing on us without blame, shame, <laughs> or guilt. So, so when you see something in your outer world, being aware enough to say, oh, that person is being a certain way. I wonder if I have that issue too. Am I attracting it because they're trying to show me what is inside me? So we wanna be kind to others but it's also being kind to us first, being loving and compassionate with ourselves, loving without attachment, um, not having expectations of others, letting go of control, and of course, perfectionism, because 
that's one of those things. It's a catch-22. We try to be perfect, and what does it do? We magnify because we can't be perfect, and then we beat ourselves up for not being good enough, and you already are good enough. Um, but meditation, taking care of you, oh, we don't want to be complaining or highlighting all the bad things about ourselves. So we lovingly accept ourselves, approve of who we are. I love myself. I eat well. I eat healthy. So focusing on taking care of you and, you know, that when we complain, when we complain about life, then we're not uh, in gratitude. So we want to be grateful for ourselves, for our life, for our body, for, you know, this form, for this being able to see, being able to think, uh, being grateful for what we have is, is also very powerful. And um, kindness. And somebody asked me today something about tolerance. And I just want to me mention that tolerance isn't the same as acceptance because you could say, you know, that you don't like a particular race, you tolerate them, but that's not the same as acceptance, is it? Because acceptance means I accept you as you are and I see myself, I see the God in you, in me, in you, in me, that namaste thing, I see the God in you. So getting to know yourself is part of self-love. Can you name 10 things that you love about you? What do you love to do? What makes you excited? What are you passionate about? So instead of spending all your time and energy getting to know everyone else, how about focusing on you, going in, sitting and meditating, sitting in silence, breathing. <laughs> breathing affirms life. So we let go of control, manipulation, perfectionism, live in the moment, forgive everyone, forgive ourselves, and have some fun. Have some fun with you. So how can you do that? You doesn't Fun doesn't have to cost money. You could dance, you could sing. Um, I love to dance. It makes me feel good, and I listen to different music. So if you want your life to change, you have to do things a little differently. So if you always dance to the same music, change it up. Listen to something different, but allow yourself to feel. It's safe to feel our emotions. It's important for us to feel what they are rather than stuff them or run away. That is all part of loving ourselves. So allowing you to feel those emotions. And of course, you want to have healthy boundaries, keep stress to a minimum, and you know, align yourself with that love peace, that self-love. I love myself. And, you know, there was a time when I used to be addicted to drama and now I avoid it like the plague. So when someone brings drama into my life, then I turn away and I go, no, that's not what I want. That's not part of my reality. So then I will avoid being with someone that brings something into my life I don't want. Does that make sense? Okay, and then of course in energy clearing, I'm sending you love while I'm talking to you. So we want to clear old patterns and we want to clear those things from, you know, family and relationships so that we're not passing those on to next generation. So lovingly approving of ourselves, taking care of this form, this body, and that means the mind, body, spirit. So eating good foods, meditating, sitting in silence. And the next one that I do is probably gonna be another one on meditation. And I'd love to hear from you. What is the best thing about what I just said and what did I miss? What would you like me to tell you that I didn't mention just now? So I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. My website's jenniferelizabethmasters.com. Thanks for watching. I love you. And don't forget to love yourself.